This Wii theme is boring. I wish we could make it look like this. All right, so just like the goof in the beginning mentioned, we're gonna be making this theme a little bit prettier. But a warning before we continue, this is a easy, easy way to brick your console. If you're not comfortable with the Wii, you're not familiar with you know messing with certain programs, I don't recommend you trying this. Uh, if you do, just follow along and we'll get through this together, but just be warned, you can brick your Wii. And it's on you if you do it. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna head over to the PC because we have a bunch of programs that we have to install. So pop your SD card out and we'll meet over there. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need is to go to your web browser and we're gonna download the CIOS installer. I'll leave a link for everything down in the description below. If you've seen my past video where I covered backing up your Wii games, you'll notice that I use CIOS installer in that video, but I'm gonna be doing it again on this one just to give everybody like a little brush up on what we're gonna have to do here. So once you're on this page, Scroll down to get to guide. You're going to see Wii and download. We're just going to click that. And that's good. And the next thing we want to go to is the Wii guide. Again, link in the description below. And uh, you're just going to scroll down and you'll see my Menuify mod and Theme Me mod. I'm just going to download both of these. And that's basically it as far as the downloads go for now. Um, so let's go ahead and minimize the screen. I'm gonna make a new folder on the desktop and I'm just gonna call it Wii Themes. And you don't have to do this, this is just what I do. And I'm gonna drag those programs that I just uh, downloaded right into here. So I'm just gonna open up a new tab from here. Grab these three. And I guess I have a double of this. I'll just delete that one. All right. So now that these are here, it's pretty simple. We're gonna right click and extract the CIOS installer. And we're gonna run through this process first before we jump onto the actual themes itself. So you're just gonna open up the apps folder here and you're gonna toss the CIOS installer into the apps section of your SD card. And once that transfers, we're going to take the SD card out and we're going to head over to the Wii. So I'll see you there. All right. So now that we're here, we're going to head over to the homebrew browser. Hit start. And once this opens up, we are going to use the CIOS installer. But before we do, I have to tell you, it is important that you back up the NAN on your Wii. I just made a video about it recently. I suggest that you check that out. I'll leave it in the link below. But... Um, I can't stress how important it is that you have a backup in case you mess up doing this. So I would recommend doing that before continuing. But if you aren't worried about it or you've already have that done, go ahead and open up the CIOS installer and make sure your console is connected to the internet. That is also important for this step. Mine already is, so I'm just continuing from where I left off. Hit any button to continue. And now you'll see we have a CIOS, a base, a slot, and a revision that we need to change. We're gonna do this twice. So I actually wrote it down. The first one, we're gonna change this to V10 beta 52. The base, we're gonna make 57. The slot, we're gonna leave at 249. And the revision is gonna go to 65535. So just hit A. You'll notice the slot we're changing is blinking. We're just gonna hit A again. And now it's gonna do its thing, so I'll see you in a little bit. All right, and now that that's done, you'll see the 249 slot is highlighted in green. That's a good thing, so we're just gonna hit the A button again. And we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna keep it on the beta 52. We're gonna change the base slot to 56. We're gonna change the slot to uh, 250. And we're gonna leave it at 65535. So just hit A to continue, A to continue. And it's gonna start processing files. We'll just let it do its thing and we'll come back shortly. 
All right, and now that that's done, you'll see 250 is now highlighted in green, and we're all set. We can go ahead and hit the B button, which will take us back to the homebrew channel menu. And uh, I think we can continue back on the computer. So take your SD card out, and I'll meet you over there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go to New Theme Me. I'm gonna right click it and go to Extract To. And we're gonna do the same thing with my Menuify. We're gonna right click it, which I missed, and go to Extract To. And you'll see we have their folders here. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to New Theme Me. And we're gonna open up the EXE here. And it's gonna give you a little warning. Only install themes if you have proper brick protection or you might brick beyond repair. So once again, keep that in mind that even this program is warning you, you may brick your console. So hit OK. Now, here's the part where we actually have to download some themes. So we're going to open up the web browser, the same link where we got my MenuFi and ThemeMe to begin with. We'll also leave some links to get some themes. So we can go ahead and go to the GBA temp. And you can scroll down and there is a huge list of themes and a lot of them have spoilers. So you can click them and you can view what they are. I'll just kind of skip through and play this fast. If it wants to load. That was loud. But you can see that this one is a dark Wii theme, which is pretty cool. But you'll also notice on here, there is NTSC, PAL, JAP, KOR. These are all your regions. So obviously if you're somewhere in Europe, it's probably gonna be PAL, Japan, Korea. NTSC is, you know, like America. So it's very important that you choose the one that corresponds with your dash. This is, this could be the part that makes or breaks your Wii. Next thing to know is that it says 4X. This goes for your version number. So if, for example, I'm on version 4.3U. If you have the 4X, it should work on 4.3U. If like, let's say your version is on 3 point something, then don't download a 4, download something that corresponds with your version. So, um, there's tons of these you guys can go through. Gara of the Desert, Full Metal Alchemist, it looks like a, a lot of anime, Super Mario, Halo, uh, Transformers, Super Sonic, Tomb Raider, there's just a whole bunch. Now, I already went and I downloaded one, but once you do download from whatever site you choose from, you're going to get a file, which I think is in my download folder currently. You'll have this here. The Samus Visor 4.3 MYM. Samus Visor is the name of the theme that I got. MYM is the type of file. And don't be alarmed, MYM is what will be read in this program. So it's not the program you need to run a theme. We have to convert this over into a CSM. So we're just going to drag and drop this into here. You'll see what I mean shortly. And from here, we're going to go to Tools download the base app and you're going to select the version of your Wii mine's 4.3 and USA so I'm going to click that it says type 45e to create a common key bin so I'm just going to type in 45e hit ok and it's going to ask me a spot to save it I'm just going to save it straight on the desktop and you'll see it made a program over there 0.0000000 07 that's fine that's good it's what we need and the next thing we're gonna do is go to create CSM I don't know why I was up there create CSM and we're gonna select that file that was just created the 97 app and it's gonna ask where you want to save it I'm gonna save it the same spot right on the desktop and now this is gonna load for a little bit looks like it's actually going through pretty fast if you want to save the MYM file, I'm just going to hit no. I don't care to save it. And you'll see now I have the Samus Visor CSM and the Samus Visor MYM. The CSM is what we need. So we can exit out of this program unless you have more themes to download. I'm just going to do the one. And I'm just going to hit no. I don't want to save. And we're going to open up our Wii SD card. So now from here, we are going to make a folder called mod themes and we're going to drag that CSM file we just created right into mod themes and we are going to open up this again and this time we're going to be going to my menuify so this is an application that you can go ahead and drag and drop 
into the app section of your SD card, which uh, apparently I'm all over the place with. There you go. App section of the SD card. I'll drag that in there. And we're all set with these programs. So now I'm just going to exit out, take the SD card out, and I'll meet you back over on the Wii. Okay, so now we're back over on the Wii, and you'll see I now have my Menuify mod right here. I had to back up a little bit so I can use the remote. So I'm going to click this and load. So this is the moment of truth. We'll see if I uh, break my console. Welcome to my Menuify mod. Name your theme files anything. Works on all systems. Select the iOS you want to load. So if you remember when we did the CIOS installer, I did 249 and uh, 250. So we can select either of those. I'm just going to go with 249. It's going to load, tell you it's done. It's going to ask you how you want to load your theme. And I'm using an SD card, so that's fine. Just hit A. And you'll see I have Samus Visor already there with the arrow. So I'm just going to hit the A button again. And it's going to install the theme. So we're just going to give it a second here. You might have multiple parts. Oh, looks like it's already done. So press any button to return to the system menu. So I'm just going to hit A. And let's see if it boots up our new theme. Nice. Totally did. That's pretty cool. Like, obviously, you can tell this is a Samus theme. The pointer seems to get... Uh, the uh, icon, I should say, for the pointer got changed. Um, let's see what happens if I choose. Wow, even Wii settings management. I like that. The uh, energy view. And you can access your SD. Does the homebrew channel look any different? Probably just the, uh, the edges around it. Yeah. So, uh, overall, it's pretty cool. It's nice to have. So let's just go ahead and get a Wii menu. Go to yes. So uh, overall, this is a pretty cool theme. Um, you know, obviously there's not much you can do in terms. It's more of just kind of a visual thing. But uh, yeah, there, there's tons of themes out there. If you're into anime, they have anime themes. If you're into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they have turtle themes. Bunch of themes, bunch of themes out there. Just be careful when you're doing this and make sure you back up your NAN. But I think that's it for this video. I'm probably just going to end it here. If you guys run into any trouble, leave a comment down below. Feel free to join the Discord. Um, if you like what the content that I'm putting out, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see me cover next. And I'll catch you guys later. Adios.